All right, I got another mail call. Um, I think I know what these two are. Um, there's one more package that I am waiting on, but um, it's from out of the country and uh, won't arrive for quite a bit. So these, I think I know what these are, and I would probably say these are two of maybe the coolest of the items. Um, I think I know which uh, these are. Um, I'm gonna open this one first. I thought this bubble mailer was cool. Um, I'm gonna open this one first and we'll see what it is. All right, this actually was the other thing that I thought it was, um, but this is something really cool, something that I've always wanted to own, um, but I've never, I've just never bought it. Um, this is a proof set from 1957. Um, and if you guys know anything about uh, proof coins in uh, up to 1964, they made them in Philadelphia. Um, now I don't know. I think I mean I don't know how else he would have whoever made this would have gotten this open. So I'm assuming he kind of slid it open just to you know just so I can take them out. But here it is. Um, it uh this is the package here. Um, it is in its original mint um, cello folds. Um, I guess I'll zoom it in a little bit more so we can take a closer look at these. There's the penny. I mean, you know, these coins have never been touched. Um, never. Um, and, uh, um, obviously, you know, like, obviously these have gained some toning. Um, like the nickel has a little bit of toning on it. Um... And, uh, you know, the Benji has a little toning on it, but, um, yeah. Um, I got this mainly because I don't have a 57 Benji, um, or a 57 Dime. I have a 57 Penny. Uh, I don't know if I have a 57 Nickel. I know I have the Penny, and I know I have the Quarter. Um, but I know I didn't have the Dime or the, fr the Franklin. Plus... Um, I, you know, I did just want to buy this as a set because I don't have a proof set this old. Um, I mean, uh, you know, it's going to come up in, on 70, uh, you know, a 70 year old proof set in a little bit. Um, yeah. Awesome. This is a, this is definitely a great piece to own in my collection. Um, yeah. And, uh, it's not, the package isn't in too bad a shape. Of course it's. You know, it's got little tears and, um, and stuff like that. But, um, overall, it's not too bad. Um, and I, I think, I think, you know, the person opened it just to, you know, prove what it was. So, this is an awesome addition to my collection. Alright, I think I know what this one is. Let's get it open and find out. All right, I got the second package open, um, and I bought this mainly because I really love these coins. Um, I would say they're probably in my top three favorite, uh, in my top three favorite U.S. coins. Um, but this is just simply a peace dollar from 1923. Um, it is Philadelphia minted, so it's a co it's a pretty common coin, but it is 100 years old. Um, and it doesn't look too bad. Um, I will say, when I open this, I can definitely tell whoever sent this was definitely uh, a smoker. Because, uh, you could definitely, from well, the, this thing here that it was in, you could definitely smell the smoke. Anyway. Um, yeah, I bought this mainly because, you know, it was a decent price. Maybe I paid, I think, $30 for this. So, I guess, you know, for how much... You know, you can get on the market for them. This is pro that's probably a, a, you know about what you would get. Um, I'm, I love it mainly because it's such a hefty coin, and I, I like hefty coins like that. Especially, um, you know, because the coin is so big, you can really get a good look at all the um, the beautiful the beautiful design it has. Um, and uh, I don't know, I just like like the the effect they had with the rays on the sun and. I think the 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 drawing of the eagle looks great, um, and um, it's just a design I feel like isn't talked about a ton, you know. Um, but yeah, two awesome eBay pickups. 
um, one that uh, I had, but I love the design, and this one I do not, I do not have in my collection. So this is awesome. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I should be getting one more package, but it's supposed to, since it's coming out of the country, um, it's supposed to come, like, Jul in July sometime, so, um, I guess I'll see you guys then, or, um, I don't know, I have a few other clips of some other packages that I've opened that I might combine with this, um, but we'll see, so, either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, I got another mail call. Um, I got a couple more packages. Um, <clears throat> I'll get, I'll actually get this one open first, and we'll see what it is. All right, I've got the second package open, and uh, this is actually a lot of three coins, um, and I actually wanted it for this coin. Um, we have these ones were kind of just thrown in the mix. I got a 1927 Buffalo nickel, which I don't think will upgrade, but. <laughs> It's still a pretty cool coin. Um, again, pretty worn, but still pretty cool. I got a 1927 SLQ. Actually, with a fantastic detail. Um, yeah, full date. Um, lots of detail on the... Uh, um, I think it's supposed to be Lady Liberty. Um, the stars are there. Yeah, great detail on that, on that uh, coin. But this is really what I was after. Um, this is an 1858 seated quarter. Um, I don't own any seated quarters, so, um, I bought the lot mainly for this. Um, and, um, I don't know how much it's worth, but, um, yeah, pretty cool. I don't own it, I don't have any seated quarters, so, uh, I'll take that all day. All right, let's get open the second package and see what that is. All right, I got the second one open, and it is a 40% um, silver um, Ike dollar from uh, 1976. This is the proof variety. Um, so this is a blue Ike. I don't. I can't remember if it's a brown Ike or a blue Ike. Um, it's not in the best condition. Um, it has quite a bit of spotting on the front. Um, and you can't see too much of a cameo on it, but you can tell it's a proof. Um, and that's what I wanted because I don't have one. I have the version of this that is a, uh, uncirculated variety, but I do not have the proof variety. So, um, I thought I'd get it. It was like ten bucks. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I don't have one of these. Unfortunately, there was quite a bit of tape on this thing, and, um... I don't know how, but this, this, the coin itself, I did take it out, and it is slightly sticky, so I don't know what that's about, um, I don't want to try to clean it off, because I'm wary to do that with proofs, but I will take it out and show you guys, you can tell it is a proof, um, it's, once again, like I said, 40% silver, and $10 is probably about what it's worth, um, I mean, I'd probably say maybe the same amount of silver you would get in, like, a 90% silver half dollar. So about $10 in silver. Because um, this thing is obviously quite a bit bigger than a half dollar. Um, but that was a cool coin. Um, I'm going to put it back in here because... On the side that is not sticky. Because, uh, like I said, even though it's not in great shape, it is still a proof. And I don't want to mess it up too much more than... Uh, it already has been from being shipped. Um, I wish uh, I wish people didn't cover uh, coins like proof coins in tape because it really does some does some damage to it. I don't know if this is from the uh, from the flip, but just when you're mailing coins, please don't cover them in tape. There are other ways to package it up. Anyway, um, and then here are the other coins. So. I'll take these. Um, I'm really happy with uh, the condition of this SLQ. Um, probably the nicest 1927 I have. So it will actually probably upgrade um, what I have for the Philadelphia version anyway. 
Um, it's definitely a nice coin. Um, you can even see a little bit of the detail on the shield. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and then the Buffalo Nickel, again, pretty worn. This was mainly just something that I got extra. Um, I don't need, I don't need either of these coins. Uh, but this, I didn't, this, uh, this is mainly why I bought it, for the, uh, seated quarter. Um, and, uh, look at that, it's actually got some, uh, some of the reading still on it. Um, 1858. Um, and it, I mean, it really has no problems with it. Um, it might have had a little bit of a cleaning. Um, the appearance of it looks a little off, like... It looks, it doesn't look like, you know, like how, like how this does, where there's some, you can tell there's some dirt in the, some of the more finer details. Um, so this might have been cleaned a little bit, but the detail is good. Um, there's no pitting, there's no holes in it, um, there's no real bad rim dings. Um, and so, um, it's a pretty nice coin. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, the video. Um, I have a couple more packages to open um, that I'll show you guys, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey guys, I got another mail call. Um, I got a couple envelopes. Um, now I will say I've, I've ordered a bunch of stuff off eBay and I have no idea what these are. Um, this one, for how light and small it is, I have a feeling I know what it is. Um, but I'll show you that. This one I have no idea though. Um, you can kind of see inside it a little bit. But I'm going to open this one first since I have a feeling I know what this is. Um, I'm hoping I'm wrong. Um, but let's get this one open and I'll show you what it is. Alright, this thing I got is an absolutely beautifully toned 2009S Copper Penny. I don't have any of these. Um, I paid a little bit more than I wanted to pay, um, but I don't have any of these. And um, all this money, all these coins that I got, I bought with a gift card. So, I mean, I really didn't pay much of anything since it's a gift card that I got for my birthday recently. But this thing, this thing has some really beautiful toning on it. It has, you can see on the jacket, it has some like greens, purples. This is a copper coin. Um, I just, I don't know, I, I wanted to own one of these, um, I just thought, like, the proof finish would look really good on the back, and this thing has some great toning, so, this is an awesome coin, I'll definitely add it to my collection, and let's get the second envelope open, and we'll see what it is. Alright, I've got the second one open, and it is a 1971 San Francisco, 40% silver, Eisenhower dollar. Um, it's got some little splotches on the back, um, but overall it's in pretty good condition. Um, this was, I think I paid 10, maybe 11 bucks for this thing. Um, it is not, obviously, you know, if this was a 90% silver dollar, uh, that'd be an absolute steal. Um, but this is, this is a 40% coin. Um, this is, um, what is, I think it's called a Blue Ike. I think this is a Blue Ike, not a Brown Ike. Um, I think the Brown Ike has the proof finish. Um, but this is a 1971S Brown Ike, uh, 40% silver. Um, I don't know. I just really love it. I love, like, nice big silver coin like this. Um, so that is awesome. Great coin. Very nice. And, uh, I thank you guys for watching this mail call. And I'll catch you in the next one. I might maybe see if I can tack this on. We'll see. All right, I got another package in the mail. Um, let's get it open and see what it is. All right, I've got it open, and it is a 1900 Philly Barber Half Dollar. These are cool. Um, I actually like the, uh, the reverse a lot more than the obverse. Um, the obverse is kind of plain looking, um, but I, I don't know. I really like the reverse. It looks very antiqued. I don't know. I mean, I guess it is antique, but um, again, it, it's it's pretty worn. Um, it's uh, I mean, these usually are pretty worn, um, but you know, it's not horrible. It's not like worn away where you can't see any of the oops, sorry where you can't see any of the detail. 
Um, it does have a big scratch right up here, kind of above the eagle's head, which you can probably see that right there. But it's not, I, I got it because it was, um, it was the cheapest one that was in the best condition. Um, and, um, you know, I mean, you know, melt, you know, these usually, um, 90% half dollars usually sell for around 10 or 11 bucks. Um, could even be like 12 bucks now. Um, the barber half dollars usually sell for maybe a buck or two more. So I could be getting maybe 13, $14 for this. Um, heck, I bet you could even get 20 bucks for that thing if you took it to like an antique shop. But, um, I, that's all I got for you today. Um, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned to some more mail calls. Hey guys, I got another, um, mail call. Um, I'm not going to film this on the tripod this time. Um, I'm going to hold the camera and film mainly because, um, this is only a little mail call and I don't really feel like setting up the tripod in this video. Um, but this one I got in the mail, haven't opened this one I have opened, but I had realized that I had not shown it on YouTube. Um, and this is a giveaway win from, um, Nathan Trevor American Collector. You guys have probably heard that I've talked about him a lot. Definitely a good channel to subscribe to. Uh, he's got some great videos. Um, but I'll show you this first, and then I I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this, too. So I'll show you this, and then I'll get into that. All right, the first item is a silver quarter. Um, this is this is a silver quarter that's been uh, kind of, I think, not shot through, but it's been shot with a BB gun um, or something like that. It's a 1958 um, Denver. So that's awesome, silver quarter. Um, it's not shot through. It's just got like a hole or something in it. But that is awesome. I'll always take silver. Yeah. This is uh, from a video where um, um, they were showing off some of their pressed pennies. Um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome silver quarter. All right, let's get into the next package. All right, I got one of these in my one of my other mail call videos, but I got a large scent. Um, this one I got because um, it was really cheap um, for large scents. Um, it was um, a pretty good deal. It was, I mean, one of the cheapest ones that I could find on there. Um, this was like. With shipping, it was around 11 bucks, um, which is a good deal for these things. And um, this is a, um, the oldest one I have. Um, and um, what, it's definitely one of the older ones. Uh, they stopped making these in 1857. Uh, this is an 1838. Um, I think the reason why it was marked down is because the date is scratched quite a bit. But it's got, it's got full liberty. Um, the back is worn, but... Um, you can still see it decently well. Um, this is a nice, solid copper coin. Um, it's an awesome piece, for sure. Um, great piece of history. Um, I love these coins. I absolutely love these coins. They're they're awesome. Um, there's just, I don't know, just these coins really represent um, the United States history, which is really cool um and again I, you know it is worn the date's scratched um but it's still got decent detail for being um you know getting close to 200 years old this thing um so um yeah um this is an awesome coin um and it, i mean it was one of the better deals you can find for large cents on ebay most of them uh most of them it's hard to find them for less than 15 bucks so, um, you know, because this was an older one and, you know, it was only, I don't know, eleven fifty. uh, th that's including shipping and taxes and stuff. Um, yeah, it was like nine ninety nine and like a dollar shipping. So, um, yeah, I would say this is a good deal. Um, I would say probably G4, um, the scratching does take away some of the value, but I would say this is still probably a fifteen to twenty dollar coin, um, and uh, I mean you know this is at a minimum G four maybe VG. Um, I think the front may be VG, but I think the back is G four. Um, but I mean you know you can't you can't get these too nice. 
Um, and, uh, you know, if you get them really nice, they start to re really um, go up in price. So that's an awesome coin. Um, I love it. I love the silver quarter that I won for a giveaway. Um, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching this mail call. And I'll catch you in the next video. Hey guys, I got another mail call. Um, I got a couple envelopes. Um, now I will say I've, I've ordered a bunch of stuff off eBay and I have no idea what these are. Um, this one, for how light and small it is, I have a feeling I know what it is. Um, but I'll show you that. This one I have no idea though. Um, you can kind of see inside it a little bit. But I'm going to open this one first since I have a feeling I know what this is. Um, I hope I'm not wrong. Um, but let's get this one open and I'll show you what it is. All right, this thing I got is an absolutely beautifully toned 2009S copper penny. I don't have any of these. Um, I paid a little bit more than I wanted to pay, um, but I don't have any of these. And um, all this money, all these coins that I got, I bought with a gift card. So, I mean, I really didn't pay much of anything since it's a gift card that I got for my birthday recently. But this thing, this thing has some really beautiful toning on it. It has, you can see on the jacket, it has some like greens, purples. This is a copper coin. Um, I just, I don't know. I, I wanted to own one of these. Um, I just thought like the proof finish would look really good on the back. And this thing has some great toning. So this is an awesome coin. I'll definitely add it to my collection. And let's get the second envelope open, and we'll see what it is. All right, I've got the second one open, and it is. A 1971 San Francisco, 40% silver Eisenhower dollar. Um, it's got some little splotches on the back, um, but overall it's in pretty good condition. Um, this was, I think I paid 10, maybe 11 bucks for this thing. Um, it is not, obviously, you know, if this was a 90% silver dollar, uh, that'd be an absolute steal. Um, but this is this is a 40% coin. Um, this is, um, what is, I think it's called a Blue Ike. I think this is a Blue Ike, not a Brown Ike. Um, I think the Brown Ike has the proof finish. Um, but this is a 1971S Brown Ike, uh, 40% silver. Um, I don't know. I just really love it. I love a like, nice big silver coin like this. Um, so that is awesome. Great coin. Very nice. And, uh, I thank you guys for watching this mail call. And I'll catch you in the next one. I might maybe see if I can tack this on. We'll see. All right, I got another package in the mail. Um, let's get it open and see what it is. All right, I've got it open, and it is a 1900 Philly Barber Half Dollar. These are cool. Um, I actually like the, uh, the reverse a lot more than the obverse. Um... The obverse is kind of plain looking, um, but I, I don't know. I really like the reverse. It looks very antiqued. I don't know. I mean, I guess it is antique, but um, again, it, it's it's pretty worn. Um, it's uh, I mean, these usually are pretty worn, um, but you know, it's not horrible. It's not like worn away where you can't see any of the oops, sorry where you can't see any of the detail. Um, it does have a big scratch right up here, kind of above the eagle's head, which you can probably see that right there. But it's not, I, I got it because it was, um, it was the cheapest one that was in the best condition. Um, and, um, you know, I mean, you know, melt, you know, these usually, um, 90% half dollars usually sell for around 10 or 11 bucks. Um, could even be like 12 bucks now. Um, the Barber Half Dollar is usually sell for maybe a buck or two more, so I could be getting maybe $13, $14 for this. Um, heck, I bet you could even get 20 bucks for that thing if you took it to like an antique shop. But um, I, that's all I got for you today. Um, thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned to some more mail calls. Hey guys, I got another mail call. Um, this one's kind of interesting in that this actually came from out of the U.S. Um, I did get it on eBay, um, but because it came from out of the U.S., it took quite a bit longer to get there, um, to get here. So I'm going to open it up today. Um, this is some silver that I ordered, um, the final package. 
um, of the stuff that I have been ordering on eBay, and um, it is not U.S. silver, so um, I'll show you guys this, and I'll get it open, and we'll see what we got. Alright, I got it open, and this is 10 beautiful 1945 10 centavos from the Philippines. There we go. It was glaring on there. Um, some of these are pretty worn, um, but there are actually a couple that are in great shape. Um, this is These are all the same date, um, and um, these are actually made in the U.S., um, it was when the U.S. was, uh, occupying the Philippines, and, um, they made coins for them, so this is, uh, um, I got ten of these, these are, uh, 75% silver, um, they're really cool, um, they're all, um, there are some really brilliant ones in here, um, and they're all 1945, again, there's some like that that are really nice, and then there's some like this that are on the war more worn side, but, um, so, uh, these probably have about a dollar fifty in melt, I would assume, but as a, as a coin, they're probably worth around a buck seventy-five, um, I think they're really cool, so, um, anyway, just a little short clip today. But, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, I got a couple more packages in the mail, um, so, I'll get them open. Um, I'll do this one first, and we'll see what it is. Alright, I've got it open, and it is an awesome Canadian silver half dollar, a 1950. Um, yeah, I had to get this, um, it was a cool coin. Um, I have, um, one of the more modern ones, I think it's a 1973, but I do not have one this old. Um, unfortunately, it looks like it's been heavily cleaned, but I don't own any, um, old Canadian, um, silver that's not, like, a quarter or dime. Um, this is an, this is seriously a stunning coin. Um, the back is incredible. Um, 1950. It has King George on it, and I believe, I'm not quite sure, but I believe that it's the same size as a um, U.S. half dollar. Um, this is awesome. This is 80% silver. Um, yeah, had to get this. Um, don't own any of these. So that it was awesome. As you can see, it's quite shiny because of the cleaning, but yeah. Oh, I just realized it's got some rim damage right here. That's unfortunate. But, it was cool, so. Awesome, that's a great coin. All right, now, let's get the, uh, I'm gonna put this back in here. Um, even though it has been cleaned, I still don't wanna scratch it up even more, so I'll put it back in there. And um, let's get on to package number two. All right, I've got the second one open, and um, I didn't know what these were ahead of time because um, I wasn't necessarily paying attention to what came in what order. But this is another half dollar, and it is a beautiful uh, 1968 San Francisco silver proof. Um, yeah, this coin is awesome. Um, as you can see, um, it is a proof. I don't know if you guys can see the... Uh, I don't want to touch it too much, but I don't know if you guys can see the uh, the S mint on there. Maybe you can right there. Um, but um, one might say, you know, oh, this is polished. Um, but I'll, I'll actually, a lot of the uh, um, a lot of the uh, U.S. coins minted before 1975 didn't have the cameo. Didn't have any cameo or frosting. Um, it just kind of had shine a shiny surface. Um, but I didn't have one of these. Um, and so, um, I thought I'd get it because, um, it was in great condition and, um, you know, I didn't have one. So, um, yeah, you can definitely tell it's a proof. Um, it actually kind of looks like a clad coin from the edge, but, um, yeah, two really awesome coins. Um, and I guess now since I have one to compare, it is a little bit smaller just a little bit. Um, 
but um, um, but uh, it is still cool. Both of these coins are really cool. Um, I don't own any old Canadian half dollars, so yeah. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.